welcome. You're watching Next IS English. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic which is COP17. And COP17 is happening in 2026 in October. And where is it happening? In Yerevan, in Armenia. And why has it made to the headlines? Why is COP17 making headlines? Let me tell you. Because a butterfly is the face of COP17 to be held next year in Yerevan. So, uh, shocking everybody, the butterfly is the face of COP17. This is the beautiful butterfly that has uh, been the face uh, in the logo of COP17. So, let us talk about it and let us understand and why this butterfly is significant and important. So firstly, let us talk about the background and context of the news. So global biodiversity crisis, biodiversity loss is accelerating due to habitat destruction, climate change, pollution and over exploitation. Uh, the biodiversity loss is accelerating due to these reasons. There is habitat destruction, there is climate change, pollution, over exploitation. We are all experiencing that, right? And Convention on Biological Diversity, CBD, which was established in 1992 to address global biodiversity concerns. So this Convention on Biological Diversity was established 1992 to address the global biodiversity concerns. So, all these concerns will be addressed by this. And let us now talk about Armenia and COP17. So, Armenia will be hosting COP17 in October 2026 in the capital Yerevan. Now, the theme of this COP17 is taking action for nature, signaling a shift from commitments to implementation. So, not only commitments, not only words, but also implementation groundwork will be done. And the global biodiversity framework is GBD. Conming Montreal GBF with 23 targets including habitat protection, sustainable use and reforming harmful subsidies. Moving forward, let us talk about the uh, COP17, what is the purpose, significance and what who are the participants. So, this is the 17th conference of parties, uh, conference of parties 17 under CBD. Now, the key objectives of COP17 are, the first objective is first global review of implementation of Kunming Montreal GBF. So, it is the first global review uh, to see if the implementation of Kunming Montreal GBF has been done or not. Now, it is second objective is strengthening the national and local biodiversity strategies. So, making strategies and strengthening them. Uh, what strategies could be made so that th there is less pollution, whatever the problems are happening in the biodiversity. So, to strengthen and um, to prepare solutions and strengthen them. Now, encourage collaboration between governments, civil societies and communities. And this, one of the key objective is to encourage the collaboration between governments, civil societies and the communities. Now, who are the participants? 196 parties to the CBD, including almost all the UN member states will be the participant. Representatives include governments, in indigenous groups, NGOs, scientists, inter international organizations. And international significance is reflects mat uh, maturation of global biodiversity go governance from awareness to accountability. From understanding what is happening to taking accountability of what are we doing for all that is happening. Now, reinforces host countries role in showcasing unique ecosystems. So, it also reinforces the host countries role in showcasing what unique ecosystems they have and president is COP16 in Colombia which happened featured Inidrida flower highlighting local endemic species. So, in COP16 also, COP16 there was this one flower that was highlighting the local endemic species which was Inirida flower but in COP17 there is this new uh, butterfly that has come up. So, now let us talk about the significance of COP17 logo. First of all, I would like to tell you that this is the COP17 logo and it has a butterfly in it as I have already mentioned. So, the logo has Poliomatus erivanesis, Erivan uh, Anomalous Blue Butterfly. This is the name of the butterfly and the symbolism is 23 blended colors. Now, uh, in this butterfly, there are 23 blended colors, which represent 23 GBF targets. So, there will be 23 GBF targets showing that interdependence on biodiversity goals. It shows that there will be interdependence of biodiversity goals and it connects global biodiversity framework to local ecosystems, illustrates the shift from generic nature imaginary to ecologically meaningful symbols. Now, the message is every local action contributes to global biodiversity goals. Implementation of targets require multi level engagement. Moving forward, let us talk about the butterfly species. 
एरीवैन एनोमेलस ब्लू स्पीशीज का ओवर देखते हैं साइंटिफिक नेम इज पॉलीमेटिस एरीवेंसिस एंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज एंडेमिक टू कैलकेसरस ग्रासलैंड्स अराउंड येरेवान एरीमेनिया सो इट इज मेनली इट इज ओनली फाउंड इन द एंड कैलकेसरस ग्रासलैंड्स अराउंड द येरेवान एरीमेनिया द इकोलॉजिकल इंपॉर्टेंस इज दैट इट इज अ इंडिकेटेड स्पीशीज सेंसिटिव टू हैबिटेट लॉस क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड प्लांट अवेलेबिलिटी एंड द पॉपुलेशंस रिफ्लेक्ट इकोसिस्टम हेल्थ इट्स पॉपुलेशन रिफ्लेक्ट हाउ हेल्दी द इकोसिस्टम इज एंड द नॉलेज गैप इज होस्ट प्लांट इज अननोन एंड नॉट येट लिस्ट in global or european red list now let us talk about the conservation measures message what are the conservation message that links local biodiversity conservation with global biodiversity commitment so as it was done in cop 16 it, there was a plant which was introduced which was a symbol of local biodiversity similar thing has been done a species has been introduced which is a symbol of local biodiversity and local biodiversity conservation with a global biodiversity commitment they have linked it together all right and I think we have covered the topic fully. So many new things have been taking place in the world. A butterfly is now a face of COP seventeen, and with this, uh, I will tell you that we have already covered this topic multidimensionally. We will talk about COP seventeen more in October twenty twenty six. But for now, let us look at the MCQ for revision and let's see who will be able to answer this. Correctly, who was listening attentively? Which country is hosting COP17 in 2026? A. Colombia, B. Kenya, C. Armenia, D. India. Do let me know in the comment section below. And that is it for today. I will see you in another deep dive video. Until then, bye bye. Take care.